The heliosphere is the area under the influence of the sun. The two major components to determining its edge are the heliospheric magnetic field and the solar wind from the sun. Three major sections from the beginning of the heliosphere to its edge are the termination shock, the heliosheath, and the heliopause. Five spacecraft have returned much of the data about its furthest reaches, including Pioneer 10, 1972 to 1997, data to 67 astronomical unit, Pioneer 11, 1973 to 1995. 44 astronomical unit, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched 1977, ongoing, and New Horizons, launched 2006. Except for regions near obstacles such as planets or comets, the heliosphere is dominated by material emanating from the Sun, although cosmic rays, fast-moving neutral atoms, and cosmic dust can penetrate the heliosphere from the outside. Originating at the extremely hot surface of the corona, solar wind particles reach escape velocity, streaming outwards at 300 to 800 kilometers per second, or 1 to 2.9 million kilometers per hour. As it begins to interact with the interstellar medium, its velocity slows to a stop. The magnetic plasma from the sun doesn't mix with the magnetic plasma between the stars in our galaxy. So the solar wind carves out a bubble-like atmosphere that shields our solar system from the majority of galactic cosmic rays. Heliotail. As the heliosphere travels through the interstellar medium, it leaves a long heliotail in its wakeway, much like a boat traveling through the water. Termination shock, the point where the solar wind begins to interact with the local interstellar medium and slows down is called the termination shock. As it begins to interact with the interstellar medium, its velocity slows to a stop. The point where the solar wind becomes slower than the speed of sound is called the termination shock. The termination shock was traversed by Voyager 1 in 2004 and Voyager 2 in 2007. Heliosheath. The heliosheath is the region between the termination shock and the heliopause where the solar wind slows and compresses as it interacts with the interstellar medium. Heliopause. It is thought that the heliopause is where the solar wind is not strong enough to push back against the stellar wind and is stopped by the interstellar medium. Bow shock. Where the solar wind pushes against the competing force of the stellar wind, a bow, or shock, wave forms in front of the heliosphere. NASA's Voyagers 1 and 2 spacecraft have reached the innermost boundary of the heliosheath, twice as far from the Sun as Pluto's orbit. <laughs>